In today's video, we will learn all about the internal sensors of an ESP32 and how to access them. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. So today's video will be a short one. The ESP32 contains three different kinds of internal sensors. We've got a temperature sensor, a hall or magnetic sensor and touch sensors on about 10 GPIO pins. Let's start out with the hall sensor as this is the easiest and shortest one. To read out its value you won't be needing to import any libraries so we can skip all of that and create an integer called value now head right to the setup where you want to set your serial speed to 115,200. This is just what I prefer. You can choose whatever serial speed you like. When this is done we can go to our loop and read out the magnetic value and we insert it into our integer called value. Now that we have our value let's print it out and let's add a delay of one second. After this is done, we can upload our code and open up our serial monitor and grab ourselves a magnet. And as you can see, let's hold our magnet closer and pull away and see as the value rises and lowers. Now let's start off with the temperature sensor. Before we can start on the setup, we will have to add a few lines of code to be able to access our internal temperature sensor. And yes, that spelling mistake is actually correct. Now we can go to our setup and set our serial speed again to 115,200 or whatever serial speed you prefer. Up next we will be putting our sensor reading uh, into an integer called temp but actually this reading is in Fahrenheit so we have to convert this reading to Celsius but for the persons who uh, have Fahrenheit they can just leave it like so and now we can add in our serial print and let's add in another one second delay after this is done let's upload but be aware that the temperature sensor is an internal temperature sensor of which I am guessing the CPU so the temperature on screen now will not be the room temperature itself so heads up on that guys once these two are done we still have the touch pins left but i made a recent video on how to use these touch pins to activate deep sleep on your esp32 this is very helpful for people who want to save on battery life i made a fun little test with the touch pins so make sure to check those out Link will be in the description or in the upper right corner on screen now. Now if you don't have an ESP32 yet or you would like one extra, then I'm happy to let you know that I will be giving away a new one when I reach 15 patrons. To able to win you have to be part of the all of my code tier, which like the name says, will grant you access to all of my code and schematics from any of my previously made videos or future ones. You can also select a higher tier if you want to. Becoming a patron really helps me out and if you want to support me and want me to create more of these videos then head over to my Patreon page, link for that down below or on screen now. Also there will be two links in the description down below from where I've got my ESP32, one cheaper and one more expensive. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.